Welcome. Welcome back. I'm glad that you're still here. I don't even know why you're here, but thank you that you're here. Okay. First of all, I apologize for not replying to the comment in a like fast manner. I work too much. That's why my videos are like three months apart. Uh, second of all, I don't get any fucking notifications. Like any any comment that you guys post, I don't get notifications for it. So I have to literally go into the comments and scroll down. Okay. Let's just go straight to the video. So you got a new VRAM or a RAM or a stick, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? And you turn off your computer, you plug the new ones, and then now it doesn't boot. That's because computers are not plug and play. You probably have the VGA or the VDRAM light going off right now. That's because it's not plug and play. There's a couple things that you can do to fix it or know if for some reason the one you got are dead. Because some of them come dead. Just know that for now. You can buy brand new ones. Doesn't mean they're good. They're probably fucking dead. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Yes, that's a fan. Yes, that's a box. You know that shit throughout the whole video. Thank you very much. Be right back in two seconds. Uh, welcome back. Like I said, you're gonna have to get used to this shitty fucking setup until I figure something out. First thing you gotta do, clear the CMOS. Take this little thing out. You can pull the lever back. It's gonna pop up. Take it out for 15 seconds. And then put it back on. Then put one of the sticks in. This is my old stick. I'm gonna use this anymore, so I'm gonna show you how to put it. Because a lot of people, I don't know why he don't know how to put it. Put it, put it, put it. So, obviously, it's the second one from uh, the uh, what's it called? from the left. And make sure the little edges it align with the edge right here, the middle one, so you don't break the stick. I usually put it like this. And please, you hear that? Okay, it clicks. Make sure that it clicks. If it's not clicking, it's probably off, and it's not. It's just not mounted correctly, right? Then you're gonna boot your computer up and see if you're getting any other VGA lights on. Uh, if you are, then what I, I suggest that you do is you take it off. If it doesn't boot, you take it off. Then you try another slot because for some reason. It might work in another slot and on this one. And again, make sure they click, right? So keep doing that. You take it off. You take the little thing off. Then you take this off. Make sure the computer is completely off when you're doing all of this. Then you put it back on. Then you move to another slot until it works. If it doesn't work, your stick is probably dead. Okay? So you need to do that one by one and see if it works. And try both of your sticks. Obviously, I have all the sticks that I'm going to show you in my computer. Okay? So, after you do that, I'm going to show you on the computer what else you have to do. So, I got these two new codes there that I put on my second computer. And that's when I started having the problem. I, I, I knew how to fix them already. I just needed to, you know, do the things that I'm going to show you. So, you see how it's on this second and fourth slot? So, what you need to do is turn the computer off, completely off. Remove them. Then... For some reason, my CMOS battery is behind my um, graphics card, so you might gonna have to remove the graphics card too. Remove the CMOS, then put one of the stick, put the put the battery CMOS back on, put the graphic card, turn it on, and if it doesn't give you any light, then that means that it's working properly. Then you're gonna do that same thing for the second slot, all right? If it's, if it's giving you a problem then, then you should do it one by one with one stick and then hopefully it boots and you can get into the MSI BIOS so I can show you how to do the BIOS. Now we're going to go to the BIOS and show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is update your BIOS. Mine is at MSI, so you go to the MSI, you're going to scroll down, downloads. I'm going to post a link in the description for this so you don't have to do all of that. But in case you want to do it yourself, then you're going to, going to go to motherboard, then you're going to go download, and then you're going to search for your own motherboard make, My, uh, motherboard, and then you're going to go chipset, then you're going to go to whatever your model is, mine is an AMD 470, and it's a gaming pro, even though I'm, a, I'm not a gaming pro, I just thought it would be a pro if I buy the motherboard that says pro, okay, let's continue, you're going to download obviously the latest one, okay, the latest one if for some reason you already did this and it started you giving you problem after that then you want to download the, uh, the the last one so it revert the problem but uh, you're gonna download it which I did here you're gonna open it you're gonna open it again and then you will need a USB drive uh, it doesn't have to be like really big it could be just a gigabyte and it will work I have two of them but you can use only one 
uh, you're gonna open the folder like I just did and copy this and transfer the file to this USB and then I will show you how to download it sorry I will show you how to download it to the uh, uh, BIOS in a second so most likely you're gonna uh, show up here so what you need to do is go to advance on the top yeah this is bootleg as I hope you guys gonna have to deal with it then you're gonna go at the bottom remember you're gonna turn off your computer you're gonna put in your USB drive then you're gonna come here and do this and flash click yes Boom, and then yeah, disable, and then it's gonna reboot again. If you do, if you turn up the computer, then put your drive. You don't have to do to do this, but if you wanna do it this way, it's, it's the same shit. Okay. Obviously, I have a bunch of shit here that I don't need. This is just an example of the flash drive that you can do. But you're gonna before you do everything, you're gonna clear your flash drive. You're gonna put the the, the folder that I, that I show you, and then it's gonna show you this. You're gonna click on it, and then you're just gonna click on it again, and it should give you an option to say yes. You're gonna click yes, and it's gonna update by itself. So it probably take five to twenty minutes, depends how fast your computer is. Uh, but it really shouldn't be taking that long. So uh, I'm just gonna back out and show you other ways you can fix your uh, drive. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but before I press the AXP, I'm probably gonna show back and show you. I had a 2133, and now my computer optimized itself to be a 2933 for the speed of the DRAM. That's also something that you're gonna have to look up after you put your DRAMs in and see if they work. Uh, also, something that I do is I go to settings. I will go. To, uh, you will go to what's it called? Uh, set not seven exit. Uh, yeah, seven exit. And you're gonna put restore to default right here. You're gonna click restore to default, and you're gonna click yes, and everything is gonna clear out. Then you're gonna turn off your computer completely, remove the sticks, and put the new ones in. That way you can your computer recognizes. Then you're gonna go back to BIOS, you're gonna click AXP and then turn off the computer, turn it back on, and your computer should do the rest by itself. And that's basically it. Uh, I hope I was able to help you. I hope it works. I know it's a hassle to fix it, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, yes, that's the fan. Yes, that's the box seal. Yes, on my bed, not made. That's because I took a nap. Deal with it. Um, if you have any question, if you still have any problems, leave a comment down below. I try to comment as fast as I can. Like I said, I don't get notifications, so it might be like a day before I reply. But I hope I get uh, that was able to help you. You don't have to even comment on my shit. Okay. Um, I don't know. How about have a good day? The drink and drugs away from the host. Thank you for passing by. Subscribe, maybe. I'm a sellout. Telling you. Okay. Uh, see ya. Bye now. See you later.